Hello. This is a tutorial on how to fix the slit width control that keeps closing down on you when you let go of the slit width knobs. So has this ever happened to you? You have the slit width open and you let go of the knob and it just drifts down to nothing. I'll do it again. You got the slit right where you want it. You let go of the knob and it just goes away. We'll do that was using blue light. We'll just do that using white light. There's your slit right there. And you let go and it just drifts right down to nothing. Well how you adjust that is very simple. It's not taught in any of the schools that I know of. It might be mentioned, but it's well forgotten after years in practice. Depending on the slit lamp manufacturer, whether it's Hogstrite, Marco, Topcon, even the old mentors, Reichert, if it's a Hogstrite style slit lamp, you have down here your knobs. right there. That's your slit width knob that controls the width. This is what happens. You adjust it and then you let go and it just automatically just drifts right back down and closes your slit. That's not what's supposed to happen. It's supposed to stay right where you put it. Okay, and it's just closing the slit right down and there it's closed. Well, if you can look right in the middle there, I'll zoom in, you can see there's a little set screw in the middle of that knob. Well, let's see if it'll let's see if it'll focus there. Come on. Of course, when I did it earlier, it did. I guess that's about as close as I'm going to be able to get it right there. Well, that set screw is about a two millimeter Allen wrench. Some aren't set screws, some are just regular slotted screws. Two millimeter Allen wrench. Or, they're a slotted screw. I think Marco is a slotted screw. Topcon, some of the older ones, slotted screw. So you need a straight screwdriver for that. Or the two millimeter Allen wrench. And what you do is, in order to stop that from drifting down and closing the slit, you just put your Allen wrench in there and you turn the, dot, the knob about a quarter of a turn and then try it and see if it stops it and if it still drifts down and you can see it's still drifting a little bit there okay give it another little turn about an eighth of a turn and try it now it's got it you can feel the knob tighten up I'm doing this from the other side you can feel the knob tighten up and the slit width stays exactly where it should be every time. Okay, so I'm going to show you that back on the test bar. It's staying right where it's, when I let go, it's no longer drifting down. Wherever I set it, it's staying still. And that's how you make that adjustment. So I'm going to bring you back up here. I'm going to zoom out. bring you back up to the test bar and we'll bring down the brightness a little bit and you can see now when we let go the slit does not go down to nothing it stays exactly where you want it to go right there go a little wider right there go a little wider right there it's not drifting back down like it was and closing down and shutting off. It's staying exactly where I put it. Go a little wider, right there. Stays, come down half, stays, come down half again, stays. And goes completely out when I go down and just drift it up, stays. And that's how you adjust it again with that knob that has the either the slotted or in the case of hog strike the allen
screw right there in the middle of that knob that's on the right hand side of the soot lamp. There's nothing on the left hand side. It's only on the right hand side and that's true of all the soot lamps that you do this with. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something.